Hello everyone, welcome to another video from Last Night Guru. In this video, we are going to study all about pollen grain. So you all know pollen grains are also known as microspore. It is also known as microspore. So remember one thing, pollen grains are not male gamete but pollen grain consists of or carries male gamete. So can we call it as male gametophyte? So pollen grain are also known as male gametophyte. So what is the ploidy number of pollen grain? Pollen grains are haploid in nature. That is it has n number of chromosomes. So we are studying about pollen grains, right? So what is the study of pollen grain known as? The study of pollen grain is also known as palynology. So most of the pollen grains have spherical structure. So the structure of pollen grain is spherical and, and it is made up of about 25 to 30 micron in diameter. So pollen grain is covered by two wall layers. The outer layer is known as exile and the inner layer is known as entine. So both together it is known as sporo. Term. So now let's see the structure of pollen grain which is very important. So first let's draw the inner layer of the pollen grain. So the inner layer of the pollen grain is known as intine. So you can see in the diagram intine is continuous. There is no discontinuity here. So intine is continuous and intine is made up of two substance that is cellulose and pectin. So inside the intine, inside the intine, it encloses dense cytoplasm. It encloses dense cytoplasm. Here. Now let's draw the outer layer. This is the outer layer of the pollen grain. So what is the outer layer of the pollen grain known as? It is known as exine. So as you all can see, exine is discontinuous. discontinuous there is no continuity and it is the hardest layer and and very important thing the outer layer of the pollen grain exhibit patterns means it the, it does not have a particular pattern it exhibit different patterns it exhibit different pattern And one more most important thing, the exine is made up of the hardest substance known as sporopollenin. So how hard is sporopollenin? It is so hard that no acid, no base or no enzyme can degrade sporopollenin. Hence, because of the presence of sporopollenin, Pollen grain can be stored as fossil. Clear about this? Okay. So now, here in some of the region, you can see there is absence of sporopollenin. Right? So this region where there is no sporopollenin or no exine present is known as germ pore. Okay, so what is the function of germ pore? Germ pore give rise to pollen tube. Further, the pollen tube emerges from the germ pore. Okay, 
give rise to pollen tube next inside the cytoplasm inside the cytoplasm after the pollen maturity there will be presence of two cells one is the larger cell one is the larger cell which is known as vegetative cell or it is also known as tube cell it is larger and what is the function of vegetative cell it provides nutrient it is rich in nutrient okay so next there is a smaller cell which is spindle shape and this smaller cell is known as generative cell so the generative cell as the name suggest it will undergo mitosis and give rise to two male gamete okay so the vegetative cell provides nutrients to whom to this developing male gamete whereas the generative cell will give rise to two male gametes clear about this okay so you can see in the diagram so here microspore mother cell my undergo meiosis in order to form microspore tetrad and this process is known as microsporogenesis right so later each microspore each microspore will undergo mitosis and forms two cells two cells one is vegetative cell and one is generative cell and this is known as two celled stage of the pollen and 60% 60% of the angiosperm are dehized or released in this two celled stage whereas the 40% of the angiosperm are dehized in three celled stage where the generative cell will form two male gametes okay 40% of the angiosperm so 60% of the angiosperms are released in two cell stage which are the two cell cells one is one vegetative cell and one generative cell and 40% are released in three cell stage which is that three cell stage one vegetative cell plus two male gametes okay so now let's discuss about some of the facts of the pollen grains so pollen grains not only have advantages but there is disadvantage of the pollen grain so most of the pollen grains causes pollen allergy so example of the plant which causes pollen allergy is parthenium or it is also known as carrot grass so over over exposure of the allergic pollen grain causes respiratory disorder like bronchitis and asthma so now what is the advantage of pollen grain so pollen grains are rich in nutrients so it is also taken as food supplement in the form of tablet or syrup so most prominently in western countries the pollen tablets are given for athletes and race horse okay so next is pollen viability pollen viability means how long the pollen is functional after the dehiscence so the viability of the pollen grain differs from species to species so in your ncert two examples are given in case of rice or paddy the viability of pollen grain is only 30 minutes that is half an hour whereas in family of rosaceae solanaceae as well as leguminaceae the viability of pollen grain is more than a month 
clear about this next is pollen bank so what is pollen bank so you all know some of the species are getting endangered in order to conserve those species the pollen grains of such species are stored in the form of pollen banks so how it is stored it is stored in liquid nitrogen at the temperature of minus 196 degree celsius so this process is also known as cryopreservation that's all for today hope you like the video please subscribe to the channel and share with your friends thanks for watching